Good morning, it's time for a cup of comments. I want to be a cup of joe first sip in the morning. Linda Hauk says, I'm curious, have you ever considered minimalist talking? No more crotch shots, please. <laughs> well, what a way to start us off. Linda's referring to the beginning of that video when I was talking about clothes and I was laying down in the clothes and I was singing and I wasn't even going to include that clip, you know, in the video, but I thought it was funny. It was not meant to be provocative in any way. It just, I was, I, I don't have a good excuse. Linda, I'm terribly sorry. Moving on. Popey Jopey says, go vegan. I think a better quality camera is worth it. Well, Popey Jopey, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but those are two things that are probably not going to happen anytime soon, but uh, I think eventually they'll be in the works. Okay, okay. Living a simple budget family life says, in Australia we call flip-flops thongs. You know what? And some people I've heard that like every once in a while in the US, people call them thongs. And when I was younger, I would just laugh because thongs are usually what we call that, you know, kind of butt flossy underwear sometimes women like to wear. So, yeah. Have we met your lovely life, Erin, yet? Did I miss that video? How did you guys meet? And can you share your story? Uh, that is going to probably be a separate video. If you want to hear our whole love story, yeah, I'll make a video about that, maybe. But no, you haven't missed it. Erin has not been on the show yet. Just, just, it'll come. It'll come. Suomatianango the Minecrafter says, Way you please sub to me, thanks. Uh, well, I even looked up your channel, Suomatianango, and I will not sub to you because you are a Minecrafter, meaning you make videos while you play Minecraft, and I'm not into Minecraft. I don't really do the video game thing, but uh, good luck on your channel. I hope other people who are interested in that do sub to you. Alexander Johnson says licenses aren't for illegal things. You are thinking of a permit, like a weapons permit, a driving li driving license. We were talking about marriage licenses and why you have to get a license to be married. And someone commented saying that it doesn't make sense because a license you get a license for something that would be illegal to do otherwise. But you're right, Alexandra. It's a permit that does that. But it's still weird, you know. It's still weird you need to get a license to be married or to be legally married or whatever. Also, you rock your round glasses. I'll drink to that. Penguins colon close parentheses says he kind of scares me. I think I'm gonna subscribe. Welcome aboard, penguins colon close parentheses. One Luby says there's no way you're married to a woman. You know what? You're kind of right. I mean, you're not right that there's no way, but you're right that there's no proof. Erin has never been on the show, and I only talk about her. She could be made up, or guess what? Aaron is a go-both-ways name, so Aaron could be a dude. I could be married to a dude. So, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. You might be onto something. AJ's Journey says, Most church weddings I've been to have seemed kind of almost solemn to me, as if they are so focused on being reverent that they forget that this is about joy and love. I think I want a church wedding, but I don't think honoring God and each other has to involve so much solemnity. That's one thing I would remove, I guess. That's an interesting point, and I think, I mean, that might depend on just the style of your church and, like, how your pastor or whatever goes about things, but I think music has a big thing to play in that. Like, if your music is, like, awesome and uplifting, I think that can make a huge difference, which is something that we had at our wedding. But I think there's something that I really like about keeping the actual wedding, the wedding ceremony and that sacrament, that covenant to be sacred, and it's, because it's very serious, it's a very serious, you know, in today's day and age where we have so much widespread rampant divorce, I think it is important to focus on how serious, really, what you're signing up for is, and then you have the party afterwards at the reception, then you can really, you know, let your hair down and have the party. So I like having kind of that dual aspect, personally. I think it's interesting that you say that you think you want a church wedding because like what is the kind of the point of having a church wedding like for me as a Catholic it's required that we're in a church because we see the marriage covenant as a three-way covenant it's a covenant between the two people getting married and then also God so it's three-way we're as we're we're promising to God and to each other that we'll stay together. And I think that's interesting. I think some people get married in churches just because it's tradition and it's kind of what people do. But I don't know. It's religious appropriation. Ross R says, um, so how did you get the idea that in a marriage you could just decide unilaterally for everyone that no electric lights will be used during Lent? Maybe you should work towards a life of less imposing of your will on others. 
<laughs> you kind of make a good point. Okay, this is what happened. So for Lent, I decided that I thought we should give up using lights, most of our lights for Lent. So like when it gets dark at night, you just have a few different lights to use. But how that kind of happened was I was home alone when I had this epiphany. So I went around and taped down all the lights. And so I kind of told Aaron about it on our way home after I went to pick them up. And I was like explaining, I was all excited about it. And so she, she agreed to it sort of, she was like, okay. So she didn't really protest, but I didn't really ask her either. So you're right. Which is why, like I said in my video, when she didn't like it, that's why I was like, okay, you're right. And I just took all the tape off and said, just use the lights. And this is kind of a thing that I struggle with and that I'm trying to improve in myself is that I get these ideas and then I run with them. And I don't want to like just leave my family left in the dust, obviously. But I also want to bring them with me on a journey towards a better life. But I, it often does end up with me retroactively saying, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go back to normal. I'm sorry to put you through this. CMS Sultana says, rather than dressers in rooms, this family dresses in the laundry room and stores all variations of needed clothing there. Way cool. I think so, at least. Watch Family Style Laundry Room on YouTube. Okay, this is crazy that you commented this. Because just before I saw this comment, I was telling Aaron that I had this epiphany. What's new? That... I'm like, because we struggle a lot with how to handle clothes and where to keep them and what to do with them because because often clothes will get washed and then they're just left washed in like piles and no one folds them and puts them away and no one hangs them up in closets. And then when they do, like that's, it's just, it's a bad situation. So then I had this epiphany, why do closets exist in everyone's individual room? And then the clothes always have to get transported to the laundry room and then transported back and all this. Why don't we just, if it's so much easier to just throw that, take them out of the laundry room and just leave them there, why don't we just keep everyone's clothes in the laundry room? And this was like a huge epiphany and Aaron was just like, that's a terrible idea because then every time I want to get dressed, I have to walk all the way to the laundry room, which I think is worth it, but she did not. And then you posted this and then I watched the video and it was awesome and it was like, yeah, so now, yeah, like, I think it's a great idea. Ross R says, so in what way are you a radical Catholic? Do you believe in non-discrimination based on autonomy? Because for a Roman Catholic, that would be radical. So the way that I see myself as a radical Catholic is that I think many Catholics today are just not living out in almost any way their actual supposed beliefs. Like, yeah, they may go to church on Sunday, but that's kind of pretty much it. The problem is there's so much sort of craziness in the world and so much sin going on and so many people living lives that are really very selfish that it's kind of easy to look better by comparison. So if you're like, oh yeah, I go to church on Sunday and I don't, I don't know, do whatever bad things these people are doing, then I'm doing okay. But God does not call us to just not do bad things. He calls us to live for him and to spread his word and to die to ourselves and to be self-sacrificial. That's a big thing that I don't think many Catholics are doing, they're not sacrificing, they're not giving up in any kind of way that hurts, in any kind of way that is, I don't know, they're not willing to die to themselves, I guess, but they think that they are or that they're doing good enough. There's this like weird status quo going on that I just kind of hate. Do I believe in non-discrimination based on anatomy? Well, that's a whole nother bucket of worms that I'm not going to get into right now because I have a lot of views certainly about things like gay marriage or female priests or like I don't know what have you and the reason I don't talk about them a lot on this channel and maybe I will at some point but the reason I don't talk about them a lot on this channel at least right now is because I hope I'm not doing it out of fear of people hating me or unsubscribing or whatever I but I think my reason for not doing it is because I want this channel to be focused on what you can do in your day-to-day -day life to improve your life to become more intentional more simple and I don't think ta I don't so I don't talk a lot about politics or like that type of part of religion because I don't think that's as tangible like I want to talk about things that are like this is what you can do to make your life better this is what you can get rid of or this is what you can start to think about or question in how you personally live so that's why I don't really talk about that gay marriage and all that kind of stuff I mean I have touched on it and if I think I have something to say that no one else is saying, then I might voice my opinion. But yeah, that's kind of the reason I don't talk about just that kind of stuff. I want to focus more on how can you take up your cross as far as religion goes and Catholicism. How can you take up your cross and follow Christ? What is Christ calling you to do? How can you 
vamp up your prayer life, you know, those type of things. Rossar then also says, have you thought of slip covering? Really, there are wonderful slip covers available, and then you can wash them. That's in regards to the couch, and I don't know why, I kind of know why, I don't I hate slip covers. I just hate them. There's something about them, I feel like they always start getting loose, and I just don't like the way they look. It's just, they really bug me. But you're right, they probably would be a way better option. I'm just too annoyed, I guess. AJ's Journey says, with marriage licenses, people get them for the legal benefits. I'm curious how anyone would get the legal benefits if all marriage, gay and straight, was deinstitutionalized. I hope I don't start an argument here, I'm just curious. Would we still have legal marriage? It would just be called a civil union for both gay and straight couples. I like that you believe in marriage equality, BTW, even if it is in a rather unusual way. <laughs> Good point. What AJ's talking about is I was saying how let's just throw out marriage altogether. Why does the state have the right to decide whether or not gay people can get married or whether or not straight people can get married? And what about polygamy? Those people just like, they've been left by the wayside. To me, mar marriage is completely religious and has nothing to do with the government. So why do they even give me a marriage license? But you're right. How would you get benefits? Like how, like right now, Aaron is on my insurance from my job. How could I make that happen if we weren't married? Which is why, <laughs> even though I was threatened to legally divorce her, I can't do it because... Who's gonna pay for her house when she has a baby? And I thought maybe, and like what you said, uh, maybe a civil union, or maybe like you apply for one after you lived with someone for a certain amount of time. So let's say after you live with someone for a year, you can apply and say, we want to be considered a household. That was my terminology. We want to be considered a household, or maybe you just have to prove that you have the same address. And so anyone, I don't know. I hadn't fully fleshed it out, but I don't know. Then AJ says, when that person said that square glasses would get you more lady subscribers, I thought they meant drinking glasses. I was so confused. Hmm, maybe I do need to get square drinking glasses and maybe that will attract the ladies. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm not even married to a lady, so maybe I need to attract the ladies. Speaking of cups, if you'll notice right after the video when I said that was my only mug, look at this. I'm at work today and this is my work mug. It's bigger. Better, stronger, faster, more masculine. See, maybe I'm trying to compensate for something. I think you people are, you might be onto something. How long are we at? The time is in. I need to leave like now. That's all I have time for today. Leave any comments below, any questions you would like me to answer in a future comments video. Also, I'm planning to make a video with Erin where we talk about being married and what it's like for her being married to a minimalist. So leave any questions you have for Aaron or me about our marriage that we'd like to see us discuss in front of the camera. This has been your Cup of Joe. I want to be your Cup of Joe Your first sip in the morning You get your golden ritual And want me so from within Let me be your Cup of Joe Love you, bye! Why did I waste so much time? YouTube sucks. Ah.